What is up, YouTube? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be working on this Nintendo Wii. Uh, it's got a couple of issues. The first issue is that it doesn't read all games. I'm having a hard time with it trying to read Super Smash Brothers, which is a dual layered uh, disc. And um, so that could mean that the laser, well, it means that the laser doesn't have enough power to uh, treat the game. So I'm going to try to do a gain adjustment on it, on it and see if that fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, then we'll swap out the laser. And also the, the jet button is um, kind of, it sticks. It doesn't, I don't hear a click. I don't think I hear, I hear the click here. But this one doesn't. Uh, I don't know if there's maybe something got in there and something sticky maybe and it's sticking or maybe the actual push button isn't working. So we'll see what the problem is with that. And I'm also thinking since the case is all screwed up, it's got like chips uh, here. It's kind of all chipped, all beat up. I'm thinking of doing a case swap kind of getting one of those clear cases and seeing how that looks. Everything works okay. I tested it with the exception of those, um, of the games, you know, of not reading the uh, bigger games. Let's start with taking, well, you know, first, let me check the battery. I'm curious on the battery. I, I mean, I, we can also swap it out if it's bad. We might as well. Uh, let me see how much it measures that's no, bad it's be replaced let me just make sure I've got the correct polarities yeah positive negative it's low I mean it's it should be replaced and am I yeah I'm getting it right there yeah so let's swap it out thankfully I've got one more battery left so we'll swap that out let me toss this one to the side here. Okay, let's start off by taking these two screws off. And for that, we need a tri wing screwdriver, which is this one right here. See the little, kind of a little Y there? The Y peace sign, Mercedes sign, Mercedes sign. Uh, and that's a tri wing. So we use that to take these out. We take out these two. And then there should be one up here somewhere on this. I think it's this one. And that's a, uh, I was going to say a star, a Phillips. All right, let's see what the problem is here. What's going on with this eject button? Might be the switch itself. Doesn't feel very, very responsive. So we'll see. Once we get to the board, we'll see if I could uh, fix that. And it doesn't, uh, it just kind of sits there. It doesn't bounce back. This one bounces back, bounces back. This one just sits there. So I have to order that switch. Let's continue with the disassembly. There's the case. It looks fairly clean. Okay, 
Okay, next we're going to take these four screws out. No, it should be these over here actually. Be very careful when taking this off. Okay, the drive is off. And then we'll set this aside to continue tearing down soon. So let's go ahead and take all these um, cables off here. Just be very careful with these. We're taking this board out. And careful with this ribbon, this is the actual laser ribbon here. It's, and it's held in by these two uh, tabs here. Just lift and maneuver out of the way. Now you have this here. Yeah, this is going to the mortar. And this one here too. Just kind of uh, push them out of the way gently. There we go. Okay, that's out of the way now. Just be very gentle with it. Now we got to get to... Uh, underneath this shield here too. Are these screws all the same size? Yes, they are. Okay, good. All right, and there should be some clips here. The clips are right here on the side. We need to unclip these. This one, this one, and I think there might be one on this side too. Back here on this side. So let's try to unclip these. Unclipped. And unclipped. All right, where are we now? Everything looks good there. Looks good there. Okay, so if you see here, this is what we need to adjust right in here. I'll show a picture on the screen once I get it, but this in here is what needs to be adjusted right here. So there's there's one point here and two points down here. You just uh, put your meter on one of each, one of each, each of one of, you put your meter on one of each point that's what doesn't sound right you put your meter on each point and let's see what we have so ideally it should be at, at about 600 ohms so one goes up here and because of the camera angle i'm gonna have a hard time trying to um get it here i'll put this on this side So there, there, I need better leads, not better, but pointier leads. So we have 900 ohms. Nine oh five didn't change much. I need a smaller screwdriver head. Okay, now it moved. Hopefully by not hopefully not by like a thousand. Yeah, eighty. Went too far. All 
All right, 636, we'll leave it at that. I'm not gonna touch it. 636 is good. That was luck. That was pure luck. Okay, so now let's put this back together. Well, while I'm here, I'm gonna clean the shaft. Lube it, and then we'll turn it over and clean the lens. Yeah. So I'm going to grab some IPA. Take off any residual grease. That's very clean. Which I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm thinking someone already got in here and cleaned it. I don't think it was me, though. I would have remembered. A little bit dirty, but not too bad. And let's add a little bit of grease in there. This is what I'm using. That's my meter, yelling at me. Okay. Let's reassemble. All right, so we need to put this shield back on. Yeah, this one came off, which happens. So that was expected. We'll go ahead and solder that on here in a few minutes. All right, let's go ahead and repair these traces here that broke off. I'll grab my iron, a little bit of uh, solder. Let me try on my extractor real quick here. Let me find the button. There it is. Let's see if I can do this, man. Uh, a little scary. Take this one off. Let's see if these screws remove the, uh, give me access to the laser. Be very careful with this here. All right, let's clean this. Let's close this up. No need to be here too long. Okay. 
Now let's continue. Do I want to test this? Should, yeah, let's test it. Let's. I don't want to go so far and then for it to not work. So let's test it first and see if it works. Alrighty, that's all we need right there. Let me grab the power. I don't want to set up a second camera, so we're going to do this like this. And there's the screen right there. So let me grab the game. Put that in. Spinning. Screen. Pressing A. Uh, please tell me it's synced. Damn it, it's not synced. Okay. Hey, let me let me sync the the Wii remote. So we have the game on screen now. So we know that worked. So we're back in business. But let me let me see the uh, start screen just to make sure. And it's fairly quiet too, which I'm surprised. It's actually very quiet. Okay, we're good. All right, so we're gonna stop it there. We know it's working, so let's continue with the uh, disassembly and look at that one button for the eject, for the, e yeah, the eject button to see um, if we could fix it or swap it out. All right, so let's continue with the disassembly of the console. We're gonna take, take this off again. Set this aside and see where we go from here. I'm trying to keep all these screws together so they'll be easier to put back in later, especially if they're all the same size. Ooh, that fell from, that fell from where? Now let's look at this here. We'll go back to that later. Yeah, it's not working. We're going to have to uh, get a new one. You want to stick up this shield.
there is no way in hell I'm gonna be, I'll be able to put this back together without looking at the uh, checking the video to see where everything came from. There we go. We are off. How's this one attached? Just pressed on or what? Oh man. Yeah, just pressed on. That's all it was. In this. Well, that's a full disassembly right there. Now we need to order the switch here and replace it. So I guess that's where we'll continue replacing that switch. I'm gonna order these order these thermal pads here. This would be a good stopping point for the first part, but I do need to order this, the case, and the thermal pads. So let's go from there. Alright folks, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and take care. <laughs>